It's not just about surveillance capitalism and how it affects uh, privileged folks, but how it disproportionately affects other groups of people. In this episode, we will meet our three artists again, exploring their work in depth and how they use art and technology to address the issue of privacy. The technologies that are present in our everyday life reflect the structures of our society. The lack of law enforcement, that is the problem. And on view, we are trying to make what is invisible and not necessarily obvious within the work. A lot of my work is expressing a concern in the fact that in the contemporary world, algorithms are sometimes replacing our free will and automating the ways in which we're making decisions. Convergence presents the entire society as one gigantic factory of data production and exploitation, a collective aggregated footprint of emotions of members of protest movements. Conversions physically react to changes happening in society. I think by combining technology with art, we can imagine alternative possibilities. AIs can now reconstruct mental images. I think it's super exciting, but frightening at the same time, because it really hacks into the most private thing we have. Nano Black Square is an artistic exploration on the fringe of art, science and technology. The concept was actually to visualize nothing as, as close as possible and its darkness starts to look back at you, just like the technologies we're talking about today that are privacy-related, like surveillance cameras. In OnView, the journey takes place in three phases. So the first phase is the terms and conditions, and it's an immersive contract that you actually have to sign and agree to be the subject of our art. And the next phase is the stages gallery, which is a black plexiglass, very disorienting environment. So they have their photos taken in these beautiful scenic elements, and then they go into the final space, which is the golden gallery, and then they become fine art. They become the subject of our art experience in this museum. To create the end of Signature, I collaborated with a computer scientist and we used artificial intelligence algorithms, neural networks, to create collective signatures for each protest movement or community. The end of Signature takes different forms. Sometimes it's an LED sign that perpetually signs and resigns various buildings. Sometimes the liquids are flowing through the installation as flows of energy, information, and capital in society. So basically what I wanted to create is a kind of idealized black body. So something which is actually not possible, it's unreachable. It creates this immersive private place where somebody can feel alone and feeling alone in a hyper-connected world, basically, without being watched or observed making on view all started with creating experiences and then realizing that everyone thought that an experiential artwork was something that you could go inside of and take a selfie. We started making a piece about selfie culture and then ended up saying, actually, this is about privacy and surveillance capitalism and extractive technologies. The Nano Black Square One is the perfect antidote for the other visual and sensorial information bombardments um, we experience every day. In part two, we dove a little deeper into the question of privacy. We revisited our three artists to explore their practices and how they use art and technology to address their concerns. Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology.